than this instrument, the guitar. It's rock and cool. And I have a slime green Jackson with the white binding on the neck. Who doesn't want this beautiful stuff right here? Anyway, it's actually one of the hardest critiqued guitars out there. Everybody says it's boxy sounding. Um, and I know that they're, what they're talking about. But um, as far as a guitar that's fun to play and tight and stays in tune, and it's got a reputation. You say Slime Green Jackson, everybody knows exactly what you're talking about. However, I got a pair of DiMarzio pickups. I'm going to be putting in this soon. We'll see if it's any better. Hey, thanks a lot for some cool recommendations for other um, YouTube artists. Uh, Jed Clampett had recommended Dave Simpson. Very cool. I like Dave Simpson. He's just kind of brutally out there. Not overly processed, which is appreciated. Uh, a guy named YouTuber recommended 5 Watt World, and I had seen them before and was going to have a response year, last year about how many guitars are enough, but I wondered if it you know, had any merit. The deal with his, uh, their channels, How Many Guitars Is Enough, is he talked about somebody was like Eric Clapton, only had one, and yet, or uh, uh, oh, another guy, sometimes my mind, but you might have seen Eric Clapton predominantly play one guitar, but his collect collection was vast and deep, so it wasn't really kind of, it wasn't fair. Uh, anyway, so, but thanks for Five Out World, and then uh, YouTuber also recommended Paul Davids, and oh my gosh, ran, running into that guy made me feel like such a hack. So the dude's, it, uh, he's literate, he is knowledgeable, he plays really well, and he can talk and play through what he's talking about. He knows all his inversions, and he's just got such a mastery of the instrument. Um, but I'm trying to fill in where other people, I think, have not hit something right on the head. And today, particularly uh, in modes, it took me a long time to figure out how to deal with modes. And so I'm trying to nutshell it and put it together for you guys to make it easier, um, because regardless of the mode you're in, you still only have those seven or eight or whatever number of notes you choose to add to a, a mode. Um, eight if you're from octave to octave in a major, well, and one repeats, so it's kind of seven, but you can flat any number of those, but you still only have that section of notes, and then depending on where you go on the neck, you're just repeating those in different octaves, but you also have available to you different shapes in which to play those notes. So a particular shape up higher might lend itself to a riff better than a shape down here. Um, but you still only have the same you know, grouping of notes. Uh, and it's up to you what you do with them after that. Um, and then how could we have forgotten Ben Eller or Pete Thorne on our favorite YouTubers, or how could I have forgotten it? Uh, ben Eller is great, Uncle Ben. He's got a Patreon page, very affordable, oodles of lessons, and the dude's super cool. So don't forget Ben Ella. And then Pete Thorne, but Pete Thorne to me is, uh, you know, he's next level. He's in one of those upper echelons of YouTube notoriety. Uh, appreciate his reviews, and I trust his views as well. In fact, he recommended the uh, Atlantic Relay Delay Reverb, um, which I'm finding very, uh, pl that I'm pl very pleased with. All right, and then Dave, uh, Rob Chapman is in the news again. This time, Rift City has published a rebuttal to his video that was a rebuttal to the sunglass-wearing, long, blonde-haired, in the dark background guy who chastised chapters, uh, chappers and you know spilled a lot of tea on the guy. And then the guitologist picked that up, and it got a whole lot more views because of the difference in channel size. The guitologist's channel is pretty large. Uh, and I had included the link to all that, and I will include the link to this Rift City rebuttal. And it's pretty, it's very enlightening as well, especially when you contrast some of the family videos Chapman put up about his relationship with Rift City, and then to um, to hear some of the things he said in regard to their relationship weren't, that uh, weren't true, and uh, so forth and so on. Anyway, I feel bad for the Rift City people, but I think they're doing really well. Their channel, too, is thriving. Sunday Morning Papers is great, so I'll put a link in this video to that. But right now, we're going to get on with uh, wrapping up some modal things, and hopefully something makes sense to you and helps connect some dots 
so that you can get on with the wonderment of learning this instrument. All right, have a good one. Good morning, everybody. What's up? Old guy jamming here. Cooler, uh, nothing cooler than on a Sunday morning or any morning. Just um, throwing up something you've never played before and noodling out. It's not real productive, but it is a ton of fun. Anyway, so we're going to try to wrap up a few things today and put it all together. And talking about modes, and last time we did an Aeolian, we marked an Aeolian scale. Remember that anytime you have a 1, 2, 4, right behind it, you have a 1, 3, 4. Also available to you, so right here, I can also go right there. That interval from a 1, 3, 4 on the other side is always going to be a 1, 2, 4. So in any kind of modal scale, mindlessly just searching for more what do you find because as you're listening to a song you like or a piece of music you're going to naturally at some point find notes that work together so what do you do where do you take it from the few notes you find that work together then what all right now our piece of music is ripped off of some YouTube guy I was watching and I thought what he was playing was pretty he was doing a review of a guitar or something and I thought oh, gosh that's pretty so uh, that I liked and so I'm, and but then where do you go right and this has to do with education knowing your modes and then doing some writing all right so the piece is like this I'm playing to the slime green Marshall and the new Atlantic Newix delay reverb which is turning out to be a lot of fun it's a good pedal all right so this is the melody I stole <laughs> Microphones this morning, so I'll try to do justice talking loud and picking up whatever guitar audio we can. All right, so the, what we found that sounded pretty was down here on the high E string, we found a one, three, four, right? sheet right here and look around for that shape find it similar shapes where would it be where would it be where would it be on the high E string and check it out right here we've got a one three four one three four so we know that we're in the major mode none of these other modes have on that high E string that one three four one three four one three four pattern so hard to work left to right when left is actually right <laughs> okay, so one, three, four, one, three, four. It's right there. So we know that we are in our major mode. And if we turn this back on, yeah, all those notes are going to be good. So 
So if we are here with our major, being that you're practicing, because you're practicing, major mode, if we, right there, if we go up from the mode, we're back to our Dorian shape, right here, which means, all right, Works out great. Have fun. We'll see you next time.